At six foot three inches, Amazon Amanda makes a living out of making men feel small. The model has an army of admirers who are happy to pay to spend time with her. What the f***? You're paying some woman to make you feel like a dwarf. Why, what do you gain out of that? I basically get paid using my natural abilities, my natural God-gifted assets. I do everything from height size comparisons, lifting, carrying, smothering, wrestling, and just walking in public with people. What? Oh, she holding well, why would people why would people want to pay for this though? Well today, professional Amazon what does the man gain? Amanda is worshipped by fans all over the world for her generous proportions. This seems a bit Growing too... up in small town America wasn't easy. I didn't know how to adjust. It's I was six foot when I was twelve years old. Jesus. I was 215 pounds when I was 12. I was taller and bigger than all my male teachers. Um, wow. I was picked on a lot. I was, I was definitely really bullied. After growing too tall to be a mainstream model, she discovered the world of Amazon modeling in 2003. Amazon And modeling. has been inundated with requests from eager fans ever since. Jesus. Being a professional Amazon is not... Um, it's definitely not your typical niche, your typical job. Today she's come to New York for a one-on-one -on -one session with one of her biggest fans, Sergio. But what, what does he gain? I'm a woman, what do you expect? Of How long I'm... you been? Oh, Jesus. Mm. Well, she actually picked one like she was a fucking kid. I'm only 5'3". I always felt a closeness with tall women and a more dear and daring with a big woman. She insists there's nothing illegal or immoral with what she does. There is absolutely no nudity, no sex, no release, nothing of the, you know, many would say, oh, you're a prostitute, you're an escort. Quite opposite, actually, because I remain fully clothed or just down to bra and panties. With Sergio on her oh. arm, Amanda's appearance raises more than a few eyebrows. She's too big for him. Yeah, like, how does that work? Like, even in the bedroom, come on now, like, he would all... <laughs> hey, she's not an escort. <laughs> he would have to be on top all the time, come on. That's not fair. In spite of the stairs, like, yeah, she would Amanda kind of she enjoys the attention. You know, it's funny, it's... I get enough attention when I walk just myself, or when I'm walking in heels, but when you add the complete size and height difference, it magnifies it by 10. I still don't get what so, he gets out you know, of it. People are looking and watching, but it's life. Okay, I kind of like it. A ah, lot. try the attention. With the requests for sessions coming from all over the planet, Amanda is certain she's found her calling. I love what I do. It's a great way of not only exploring other interests and fetishes and everything out there, but I get to travel the world. True. So that's definitely a perk. There's definitely motherfuckers out there that will pay sh loads for her to come and do this to them would i do this no do i understand why people do this no for her i understand it because i mean to be honest it's easy fucking work realistically isn't it? it's just fucking piss easy walk around with some guy tackle them fucking have them a chokehold it's quite easy for her you know what i mean she gets probably paid quite a bit she gets to travel the world it's a win-win for her i am definitely curious how much she charges i feel like she charges a bit this was video was recorded a while ago so she's due to inflation and everything. Her price had definitely gone up. That's if she still does does this. But just out of pure curiosity, I would love to know her prices because I'm interested. Fucking, I would love to know how, how much you're charging for this shit. If you do know, let me know in the comments down below.